Hi guys. Today we're going to read I am an artist. I am an artist when I follow a line where it leads me. Hope you can see that well. I am an artist when I find a face in a cloud or watch the light change the shape of a hill. I am an artist when I discover shadows made by the moon or trace patterns in the sand or when I name the colors inside a shell. I am an artist when I look through a sun shower for a rainbow. I am an artist when I find one. I am an artist when I notice that the sea is a mirror for the sky and when I make something from the things that I collect. You know, like when we go on our nature walks. That's fun, isn't it, guys? I am an artist when I shoot water loops in the air with the hose or discover pictures in drops of rain. I am an artist when I cut an apple to see the star inside or when I watch sunlight turn dust to glitter. There's several y'all that love glitter. I'm an artist when I crunch through crusted snow and stop to gather winter's hush around me. It's a very quiet, peaceful sound in the snow. I'm an artist when I look at a bird until I feel feathery too, and at an orange until I know what it is to be perfectly round. So we have an orange here. I'm an artist when I run my fingers over a shiny pod or across the rough bark of a tree, or when I blow on a full-blown milkweed and it splinters into tiny white puffs. Or when I pick up the maple tree seed and send it spinning back to the earth by its twin propellers. I'm an artist when I see the sun comes up in a soft haze and goes down in a fiery blaze. I'm an artist when I wait for a star to streak through the night sky or when I sit very still in the woods and listen. I am an artist whenever I look closely at the world around me and whenever you listen and search and seek. You are an artist too. And many who live in class like to draw. And today we have a project for you to do. So this is an orange. What shape is this? You can get some paper from different, here's a, something that came in the mail, um, things that you have around the house. So notice the color of the orange it doesn't have to be the same color of anything you choose to make. We're tearing it up in pieces, and then you can make shapes into whatever you want. You can use glue and glue it, or you could do sticky notes like these and stick it. You can use newspaper. You could paint on top of it. You could do all kinds of things. So I'm choosing to do mine in the shape of the orange, which is a circle. And you can do many things with this, guys. So have fun. Enjoy your day. And it was great to spend time with y'all again. See you later.